FM, it's your girl, Amy J., your personal hype man and friend here today on this Friday, January 31st, 2020, wanting to check in and see how are you doing? What is on your heart? What are you guys worrying about? Because I think sometimes there is part of there, there's some parts of our worry that we might be able to get rid of. All right. And so that's what I want to talk to you about today is kind of easing the load if we can. And it's, it's easy to talk about. It's hard to do in practice, but it'll take practice for it to get better. When you worry about something, it comes in two parts. There's the part you can control and there's the part that's outside of your control. The part that's outside of your control, I want you to try your best not to worry about. It is what it is. It'll happen one way or the other. Worrying about it is almost like a wasted effort because you can't change the result. What you can change is that first part, that part that is in your control. Focus on that. What can you do about the things that are in your control to change the outcome? Because it's connected. If you can change the things that are in your control, that way you will affect the things that are not in your control. But there's no point in worrying about the stuff that's not in your control because you can't do anything about it. You can only indirectly affect it by manipulating and working on the stuff that's in your control. There's a lot of the word control in that. So let me let me see if I can break this down a little bit better. Focus on what you can do today. If you can't do anything about the outcome, because there are certain parts not I'm trying to not use the word control. There are certain parts that are outside of your abilities, outside of your influence, then let that be. But the things that you can touch, the things that you can affect, focus on that, right? So it's a two-part suggestion. One, don't worry about the stuff you cannot control, influence, or affect. Focus on the things that you can control, focus, and effect, because that will indirectly affect the stuff that you can't control. So the point is, I'm trying to minimize your worry by changing your focus from worrying to do what you can. And then the rest, you got to just let go and let God, right? Because the important thing I want, I want you to understand is you have a right to be worried, but only worry about the things that you can control. Because although it may not feel like it, Everything will work out. Everything will work out. It may not be the way you want it to work out, but it will work out the way it's supposed to work out. And then you will handle it because you can handle whatever comes your way. So I know that part's difficult. The part where I said it may not come out the way you want it to, but God never gives us more than we can handle. We may wish he didn't trust us so much to handle it or that it wasn't so heavy, but trust he would only give you as much as you can take. So you can handle whatever comes your way. You got this. So try not to worry and just focus on what you can control and do what you got to do to change those things within your influence and what you can affect. All right. That's the important message today. Easy to say, difficult in practice, but take it one step at a time, all right? When you're faced with a problem, think about what is it I can do about this? What steps can I do to make an impact on what's going to happen? And do those things and then think, can I do anything else? No? All right, then I cannot worry any longer because it's not going to do you anything. Again, easy to say, takes practice. So try it, work on it because you got this. You can handle whatever comes your way, right? Because you're awesome. You are loved. You are needed. And most importantly, you are enough as you are the way you are. All right, guys, never forget that. So until tomorrow, when we check back in, remember, don't stop. Keep chasing.